When considering the size of our operation and the products and services that we wanted to offer, the Woodmaster equipment made it all possible at a very good price. Hello, my name is Bob Maynell and my wife Teresa and I run a mom and pop operation referred to as Maple Grove Mill in southeastern Indiana and we're proud owners of a Woodmaster 725 molder planer and a Timber King 2000 mill. The primary reason that we went ahead and purchased the Woodmaster equipment is to take the products that we were able to mill on our Timber King 2000 mill to move it forward and add value to that product. And when we look at the features of the Woodmaster equipment, we went ahead and got the, the various heads, the planing head, the ripping head, the molding heads. And when you go back to the planing head, we went ahead and got the spiral head planer. That was a very good decision. And then when we back away and look at the overall purchase price and the features, we couldn't find anybody else to compare to that in any of the markets that we looked at. And now that we've had it for a while and we can ask ourselves, does it do what they said it would do? The answer is absolutely yes. The uh, basic reason we chose the 725 was to go ahead as we looked at our total uh, business plan, our total operations, we wanted to be able to take our, our uh, kiln dried lumber and add value to that and the 725 planer, due to its features, allow us to do just that. The customer is able to come in and purchase some of our kiln drawed wood, our slabs, our crotches, and then if they want it plain because of the 25 inch planing capabilities, we're able to provide that service, which increases cash flow and adds value to our products and services to include what a customer might want us to do. This is uh, the rear portion of our wood studio, and uh, one thing I wanted to show you in here is just some examples of different custom orders that we have in progress right now. And the only reason we're able to do these things is because we have the various types of wood, wood master and timber king equipment. Uh, first one here is an example of a customer who's brought their own wood in. We're going to be drying it for them in a timber king kiln. Then we'll take it into the shop and we'll further rip it and turn it into trim. The next one is a sample of someone who's brought some cedar lumber in, and we had already dry, we had already cut the cedar lumber for them before for another project, and they air dried it themselves and brought it back to us, and now they want to run it through the kiln because they're going to use it for paneling in a basement. Then this next job is a high-end uh, custom home builder who he goes out and buys old barns and then he tears them down basically and uses the old barn wood. And this particular order, he's got a special order for a custom table. And we're gonna be cutting it down, you know, saving the live edges, well not the live edges, but the rustic edges would be the right way to say it. And then we're gonna put it in the kiln and get it down because it's gonna be inside. And then, so it's gonna turn into a real high-end custom, custom table. Then the back here is a sample of a customer who brought some cherry wood who was actually, uh, it was sawn several years ago by another mill someplace else in the area and he's bringing it to us now and we're going to kiln dry it and then we're going to go all the way through the process and give him back cherry flooring. When I consider our overall business efficiency, one of the indicators that lets me know things are going pretty well is when perhaps I'm out working on a 2000 mill doing a Pacific feature milling wood then Clint or Jake are in here working in their shop planing. We chose the Pro Pack because it offers us a variety of options. Uh, it allows us to expand the products and services that we're able to offer our customers. Uh, the Pro Pack, as the name implies, offers four distinct services. It allows us to plane wood uh, up to 25 inches wide. Uh, which is a good thing because most of your smaller shops might have a 12 or 16 inch planer. The 25 inch planer allows us to take our inventory of slabs and crotches and put a finish on that, that particular piece of uh, crotch or slab, which is, is a very good added value for that. We're able to go ahead and rip, make multiple rips in one pass with the rip saw. We're able to mold into a variety of different uh, molds based on the knife that we choose. If a customer has a special knife they want or a special mold, we can go back to the shop and order a special knife and make that special mold for them, which is another great feature that Woodmaster Headquarters uh, offers for us. Or we can go ahead and turn it into a variety of, of flooring, uh, tongue and groove. Customers are able again go to our inventory and, and choose a species or a, a different milled wood, again 
quarter sawn wood, for example, and bring it in and we're able to go ahead and again turn it into flooring or trim. All these things add value to our, our cash flow and to our products. So again, very good decision to go ahead with the uh, purchase the four different options. No wood shop of any size complete without a, a dust collection system. The Woodmaster system does just what we need it to and we went ahead and selected the multiple drop system which allows us to put multiple machines, connect multiple machines to the same system. Does a great job for us. I'll turn it on now. Yeah, I, I had mentioned earlier that one of my, my favorite things about the Woodmaster equipment, the, the various options on it, was the spiral head cutter. And this is just, there's several great advantages to it. In addition to the quality of the surface it gives on the wood, which is far superior to a, a straight blade planer. It, it, uh, with the spiral head, it looks like it's already been sanded. But what Jake is doing now, he's going through and checking the various blades. You notice that there's individual square blades. On a traditional planer with a blade, if you, you get a cut in a blade, you gotta take the whole blade out. Here, all we gotta do is just check it. If, one, if there's a bad spot, you just loosen it and turn it around and it's ready to go again. So if you have accidents, if a blade goes, you're able to fix it and get right back in gear again. So again, uh, Spiral is, is my favorite because of the quality of the surface it gives, the maintenance on it, and being able to uh, easily, if you got something that goes dull, you can fix it yourself real quick and you're good to go. In looking at our overall business plan, there's no way we could accomplish what makes up that business plan if we did not have Woodmaster and Timber King equipment. Specifically, when you look at the Timber King 2000 mill, that allows us to take logs and turn them into a variety of lumber, slabs, and crotches, and beams. So that's what we get from the Timber King mill. Then we're able to take those products and dry them. And, and in order to dry things, in order to use them for furniture grade type products, you have to have a kiln to do that. And then moving forward to turn that kiln dried lumber, beams, uh, whatever it might be, into, into further process equipment. In our shop, we went ahead and purchased a 725 planer molder. And that allows us then to make trim, to make flooring, to plain crotches and slabs. It, overall, again, it allows us to offer a variety of products and services. So again, when we look back and say, was it a good decision? Has it increased our cash flow? Has it increased our customer base? The answer is definitely yes. I'm going ahead and getting a 725.